Well, you have to bear with me on light, because, yeah, in the other video, I did not do, I, did, I, I had a light up there in my last video, and I forgot to bring it. I was kind of in a rush. It's actually supposed to rain today. I mean, I'm not in a harass rush because I did bring an umbrella. So it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. And I think, let's see, the weekend. It's actually in the next day after the video before this one. But. Now, what we're going to do, see, I was going to bring that, the mask, too, and, uh, and I didn't bring that, plus, I really wasn't planning on putting a second. That's there it goes on. Oh, I forgot to stir it. Got a little carried away with the with it. Trying to get Save some juice. But when I do the other side, This might actually be This might actually be the last coat I put on it. say the, the shed the fumes in the shed really held overnight
This might be actually the. Well, she said four coat. You all do four total. We'll let that soak in the wood. Now we'll let this. I'll let this sit. In a couple days. Well, at least come and check on it. And I'll leave it like it's sitting like this. And then I'll do a... Yeah, yeah, because now it's taking a little longer for it to dry. I mean, it's not like I paid anything for the stain, and we really don't need it for anything else, so. We'll let that sit in and I mean, think I should just go ahead and turn it. Probably go ahead and turn it just because it's because of the weather. Is it, it could turn at any minute now. Even though, granted, I do have a, an umbrella here. Juice. At least with this side, I don't have to do the sides.
put that set in a minute. This one might be a little shorter than the other video. Sorry, the lighting is just... See how much of this... Well, we don't have much left, so this will be the last, probably the last coat on it. On it. The reason why I'm trying to get this all done in two days. That way it has time to set in. I wish they both matched. That'd be pretty nice. And that way I could cross this off the list. Some things that need done. And I, I, wanna, I, want, I want to let this sit. Before it goes back outside. In. November 16th. I think. Uh, maybe backtrack some. Maybe. I don't remember. And the wife's got it written down to remind me. Um, it's going out back out the day of day before my mother-in-law's birthday, because she died the, the following day after her birthday in 2020. That's why I'm kind of in a rush and getting this done. I could, she probably should have waited until a sunny day to do this and then done it out. And done it outside. I think that's perfect. side's going to have a little extra. I think what I'm going to do is do this and then go put another coat on the other side real quick. And made a mess on the floor. Uh, 
I'm gonna let that stick in a minute. Probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's Tuesday. Something, uh, this is something I've been wanting to do, but everything costs money. Found a free jar. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So I figured somebody out there would throw this at me. I wonder, I wonder who made me see that in the shed. My cousin Anthony, someone, someone, I rely on, sometimes on people that are deceased. As in, well, I really rely on it. Like, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was out here, walking back to the house, it was thundering. And I said, hey, mom, I said, hey, mom. I must have said hi back. Nothing. I stood there like 10 minutes in the yard yonder way. She didn't say nothing. So I, I waited like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe most. Started walking, took two, two to three steps, and then kaboom! She finally said hello. Then I asked her. I looked at the sky and I said, are you okay? And within maybe five seconds, kaboom. I said, okay. I said, I love you. And then like seconds after that, I started walking, kaboom. So yeah, she was talking to me. Then I asked, well, there's that thing I was looking for. Anyways, I even asked uh, my cousin, and he was, you know, okay with me having his computer. Nothing. Well, I guess it's starting to rain, so let's flip this thing back over. I always thought stain was like paint. Where you have to let it dry. I actually like staining other than the fumes from it. Reason being is, is because stain, uh, well, it's probably gonna stain the floor and this is a work area, so who cares, but staining, you can, it dries quicker, So I'm doing the front part of it now, so. Because when it dries, I keep going over it.
Well, I think that's going to wrap up staining the the cross here. Now, we'll stick, I don't know, stick, stick the rag somewhere. We'll stick it on this block. Uh, update on, well, the green mower. There m might be. We, uh, we're going to have to do some repairs to it. I don't know if there's going to be a video on it. I don't think they will. So I think I'm going to work on it where it's living at. Um, if that doesn't... If, that, if the repair does not fix it, then we have a really good video coming up. I'm going to, I'm going to try to see if it would finish out the season. Uh, that's going to be kind of close. I got, I had some ideas last night on what to do with it. You know, I'm trying to come up with some, some backup plans. I guess I'll have to wipe this all down somehow. At least wipe down some of my work area in here. Well, it's starting to rain. The cross is officially stained. There's about that much stain at the bottom. I don't need to go anymore. I mean, it would be nice to see it a little darker. But, finally on day, next video will probably be the video on when it's outside. And then there you got it. Both sides. Everything's done. We just gotta let it sit. Uh, I guess... Comment down below if you think I should lacquer it. Or just leave it stained. I say just leave it stained like it is. Because it's, you know, the lacquer I have to buy. And don't have, don't have the funds for that. Um, I just say, I think in my last video... What I want to do is I want to do away with these. Make it to you can't see them. Which means we're going to remove these. And replace them with. Um, with like maybe drywall screws. And I want to make it. I'm going to, it's going to be permanent. I'm going to make it where you don't even see the screws at all. Period. Not even the heads. But that's going to be in, well, in the far video. That's why I probably should save some of that stain. So that when that does happen. Because I don't want to have to fill in these holes. With sawdust and wood putty. And try to. What would you call it? I'm going to make it where you don't see it. So. That's going to end this video. There you got it. We finally stained the cross. It's not the color I wanted. It's actually bringing the, the grain. It actually brought the grain out in it. I wanted like a cherry red or a cherry color. Um, but hey, you know, the price are free. There's my mess. If you can see the floor. There's a mess that I made. Oh, that's that's it's a, it's a floor. Um, so that's it. So, uh, hit the notification bell. Get notifications because you know we do videos. It said it's the gas tank that I want to use, but I can't get it to prime. But if I can get it enough to where I can, you know, if I have to start it on bright cleaner, then that's what I got to do. Um. I got to try to get, I got these, I got these two, then I got one, I got one and he, two in here in the stove oven, but I lost the screws to one, so technically, I really need four rebuild kits, I said, if that doesn't solve my problem, 
spare motor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was a surprise. Shoot, that ruined the surprise. We'll do a motor swap. I'll have to take, you know, I think the coil, carbur you know, we're going to need a carburetor and gas tank. The top has to be swapped. And muffler. You know, a lot of parts are going to have to go up on it. And then we're going to have to do an oil change and see. You know, got key. Rain's starting to slow down here. I uh, will do an oil change and all that kind of good stuff on it. There's a better look of it. Yeah, we got to get. I got to get this door closed because this is getting wet. Yeah, it's not really raining. I don't need an umbrella, so. Well, that's going to include this video. Stay tuned for more future videos. I'm actually filming videos, multiple videos a day. That way, when it comes time to upload them, they're already ready to film. They're already filmed and ready to go, so... Uh, Subscribe to my channel. Let people know about the channel. I gotta get back to the house. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have a comment, please leave one. Thanks for watching.